Well, welcome back to Darnwood Builders. Today, uh, I want to make you a, a slight apology for last week again. There was some more technical difficulties last week, and I want to apologize to all our faithful fans out there uh, this week who have uh, just overwhelmed me with fan mail uh, about the last uh, episode that we had. Uh, the concern for my hand and my health is just heartwarming to me that you would send me all these letters and things uh, in, in concern for me and, and uh, my show here. And I just wanted to let you know that there was a mistake last week and I want to deeply apologize uh, for the uh, mistake that was made by our stagehand here who was supposed to have uh, put up a sign uh, behind me while I was doing all this thing. Uh, or run the one across the bottom of the screen that said this is just a dramatization of what could happen to your hand. Uh, it was not something that happened uh, to my hands directly. You can see both my hands are just are just as fine as fine can be. So <clears throat> anyway, I want to uh, still uh, give a big shout out to all of you who um, uh, were so concerned about my health and my well-being. And uh, today I. Uh, uh, we'll be doing another project on the DIY, uh, on a DIY possibility, maybe a, a bird feeder or, or something like that in just a little bit. But I just I have to take a few more minutes to tell you the story, uh, that, that sad story about the, the man who uh, was supposed to do the dramatization sign. I talked to him today and uh, it was uh, heartwarming to, to hear his story and he didn't make the sign and he didn't do the, the things that he was supposed to do because he was ashamed. He was ashamed that he that he couldn't spell dramatization. And I told him, you know, there's no there's no shame in not being able to spell. I, I felt so bad for him. I said, you know, this week I'll do the sign for you myself. I said, don't don't worry about it and I'll just show the people that last week is supposed to be a sign and you, you just don't worry about it because spelling is not some people's uh, uh, best forte you know so anyway today I, he didn't he, he said I didn't even know what the word meant so I didn't want to embarrass him by doing a, a, a sign that said dramatization so I, I put together this little sign here for us today that should have been on last week's show and I'm going to show it to you here uh, right now to give us uh, what we should have seen last week and uh, it says right there this sign is not real I don't know if you could see that or not let me see if I can fix this thing here I don't know what's going on with my technological skills today but yeah this thing here is, it, it says this is not real what's that what'd you say Oh, real is spelt wrong oh yeah right um, and if it was spelt wrong how would you spell that okay R -E, that's supposed to be an A right there all right there that's 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 supposed to be an A anyway like I told him I said there's no shame in not being able to spell but today in just a few minutes we're going to we're going to put together a bird feeder and uh, we're going to uh, do that uh, but uh, before I even do that, though, I gotta go some more into this outpouring, this outpouring of love towards me, and I want to give a, another special shout out. This touched my heart today as I received this box here from Amazon, Amazon.com, and uh, one of the viewers was so concerned about my health and my well-being that he sent me a box from Amazon with these medicated band-aids for my splinters and I, I want you to know that, that that just touched my heart so much and I want you to know that these are going to go right in a special place in my first aid kit and I'm going to leave them there because there's going to be one day that I'm going to need one of those band-aids and I'm going to think about you I know they were here sent anonymously uh, to me but whoever you are Wherever you are, God bless you. And right after this uh, moment pause, we'll be back to start our DIY project on Darnwood Builders. It just touches my heart so much. Thank you so much. 
Well, I know I said I was going to make a bird feeder today, but I'm just too emotional to work with power tools. So we're going to do a segment. What I what we'll probably be putting into our our segment is going to be called uh, Darn Wood Builders, and uh, we're going to be putting it on the air here, and we're going to be putting it. Uh, into our show once in a while and the, the, the fabulous emails and and uh, letters that have just touched my heart and I wanted to do something so we're going to do this uh, sawdust corner every once in a while on Darnwood Builders and today uh, at random uh, our producers have selected this, this uh, letter here uh, and uh, it's from John and Mabel Smith from West Plains, Iowa, and it says right there to the Darnwood Builders, care of hashtag Jimmy Fallon, and I want to personally thank Jimmy Fallon for letting us use his uh, post office box because we don't have one, and uh, all of his, that mail has been forwarded to us as his uh, people have a chance to do so. So again, a big shout out to Jimmy and, and thanks, uh, hashtag all that stuff, you know, all that good stuff that they do on TV. But anyway, right now, uh, I'm going to open this letter and see what they have to say. And, and uh, I'll, uh, let me see if I can find something to open it with here. That bandsaw works pretty good to open letters. Oh, oh, all right. Let me see if I can find the, the letter down in here. All right, there it is. Let me see what it has to say now. Last long letter here from Mabel and I. He says, Mabel and I watch your show every time it's on. And sometimes we watch it again and again. That's heartwarming. That's heartwarming. Our kids love your projects and so far haven't lost any fingers. Ha ha. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Just wanted to tell you what an inspiration you are to us. Thank you for sharing your talent. That's amazing. I, I really appreciate that. I'm, I'm not the most talented man in the world, but I appreciate the, the acknowledgement. Oh, and he goes on to say that maybe you should think about trying out for that show, America Scott Talent. Bye for now, your loyal fans forever. John and Mabel. Well, that is a sweet letter, and I just wanted to acknowledge uh, all the wonderful things that people have been sending me here lately. And, uh, you know, just keep that sawdust flying until next time when we get back to our regular uh, set of shows where we start building things again from that darn wood. Goodbye for now, and take care, and God bless.